Importing data from one Google Sheet to another is incredibly easy. Let's say, for example, I have a project task list like this, and I have lots of tabs. So, for example, I have a daily tab, um, my task list tab, periods, specific ranges, and notes. And I don't want someone to see all these things, but I need them open and displayed for certain people. What I could do is build another Google Sheet and only display, for example, our tasks list. So how do we do this? So let's move over to this Import Sheets tab here and import just this task list information from A2 across to G and all the way down. So head back to Import Sheets here. So we use the Import Range function here. So to do that, all we need to do is go equals and then Import Range. And it asks first for our spreadsheet URL. So we head back over to our template project tasks and we select the entire URL and hit copy, control C. And then in double quotation marks, we control V to paste and close the double quotation marks. Now you can also just put in the ID for the Google Sheet. So to do that, all you would do is go back to here and then select just from here all the way down and that's the ID for your Google Sheet and hit Control C to copy and go back to Import Sheets and then select this and hit Control V and there it is. Okay, so we'll hit comma to get our second argument and that's the range string. So let's pop this down so we can see what we need to add in. First it says the World Cup A1D2. So what it means by World Cup is this title in this Google Sheets tab here. So for us, let's head back over to our template project seats example. And what we want is this task list. We could type it in, but it's much safer just to double click and then hit control C to copy and then head back over and open up your quotation marks and hit control V to paste. And then before we put in our range, we're going to add an exclamation mark. And it starts, I believe at A2, we want to start and going across to G and all the way down. So we'll go A2, well, A2, colon, G. And I'm going to leave G as it is, and this will allow it to uh, go all the way down the page. If thousands and thousands of more rows appear, then it will automatically update the sheet. And let's close these quotation marks here and close our brackets and hit enter. Now you might expect success, but you'll get an error. So what's this saying here? Let's hover over it. It says you need to connect these sheets. What it, it's doing is giving you permission to access this sheet as a view only access. So let's allow access and see what happens. And there you go. You can see that we've imported across our task list over into our import task list sheet. Now you note that the formatting isn't there and you can uh, it's up to you to format it how you wish. So let's just uh, tidy things up a bit. We won't do our colouring. I'll just select this range and just double click to fill it out so it looks a bit tidier. Maybe hit a control B to bold this top section here and it's all done. And you can see everything's been entered all the way down to 159. Great, so we've got 159. We'll just double check. Yes, that's it there. One of the cool things about this import range is that this sheet will update when this sheet updates. So for this particular template project tasks sheet, I can go to daily here and I can submit my tasks for the day. And they'll be added to the bottom of the sheet. And it's just going to be a duplicate here, but that's cool. But we said it was 150, uh, I think it was 159. And this should be added to the bottom as well. So the last one was 159, cool. And now we've got our new ranges on the 15th of December when I plug these in. So it updates automatically. Another cool feature is that I haven't given any sort of view, edit or comment permission to this template project task for anyone I've shared with. However, I have shared this one to Mrs. Yagi-san Atade. So let's alt tab over to Mrs. Yagi-san Atade. And now we're in her Google Sheet. You can see that by this little icon in the top right hand corner. And you can see that she has access to the same thing. It's not hidden from her now. So it's a great way to show people a portion of a main Google Sheet uh, to allow them to see only what you want them to see.
However, she doesn't have access. So let's go back to me, you can see here, and I'm gonna go over to my project tasks, have a look at my icon here, and I'm gonna select this, Control C, and I'll Alt Tab back to Mrs. Yagi's account, and let's uh, open up a new tab and hit Control V to paste and enter. And you can see straight away, she doesn't have access. You need access, you need to ask for permission. Now, of course, you can use this data in conjunction with other data on your import sheet uh, to work out new formulas or compare uh, different pieces of information or data points. Another cool thing here is with this formula, you can make a compound formula uh, to include things like VLOOKUP or query or filter uh, to create really interesting data points. So give it a try and see what you can come up with. I'd love to hear how you've used it in your own projects. If you found this tutorial interesting and you want to see how I use compound formulas with import range in another tutorial, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you found this template uh, project task interesting and you think you might be able to use it in your own projects, there's a link to this particular product that you can access in the description below. Until next time.